I wanted to uh, display the scientific method in action as I've been hiking along here. Uh, I've come across these areas where the soil all of a sudden turns turns black, and I notice it, and I think, wow, this, this almost looks like shale, but but it's not. And I started picking at it, and I'm like, I, I don't know what this is. And because I'm hiking, I just kind of kept going. But I kept my eyes out, and I started noticing these, these trees, like this one, and there's a lot of sap coming off of it. And that sap actually hardens and, and pretty much looks like amber. As I've kept on hiking, I made more observations, and it's like maybe it's from some of these trees. You know, I developed that hypothesis and got more observations and until I find this one where you can see that black material coming straight off the tree and spreading out beyond it. So, uh, you know, you start with an observation. You're not really sure what to make of it. You just continue to keep your eyes out, and as you get more information, you develop your hypothesis to the point where and you can pretty much go through the whole thing and you have your conclusion and and your answer if you just kind of keep on keep on looking and it's such a such a neat thing to, to see that you know something like sap is uh is causing this discoloration in the in the geology here but uh yeah it's kind of a neat thing you know if you kind of keep the scientific method in your in your head and you can apply it to places and things you notice that are kind of unusual and weird uh you can answer your yourself if you just keep your eyeballs open and your brain thinking uh, critically. So yeah, kind of neat. I knew that uh, sap could change the soil that much.